HP laptop. I'm going to do a hard drive to replace. AMD A8. And it looks like they'll take the whole back panel off. Remove battery. No screws. So we've got one. I don't know if the foot, feet come off. Possibly. So we'll have a look. So this one is for the CD-ROM. And then we'll take all these out. And we'll get back to you in a sec. Pull the screws out. CD-ROM. Start at this one corner. And just lift it up. And then pick the bezel up without breaking it and then work your way around. Okay, so just work your way along gently, with no pressure needed. There we go. There we go, and that should almost. Oop, keyboard comes out separate. Actually, you need to get and I need to get it all off, don't you? Okay, I think I've got to turn it over, James, because the feet. Okay, you're going to have to praise your feet up, I think. Carefully. And there we go. Two screws. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the long ones will keep them separate. So they're slightly longer. And then we undo the hard drive via this. Actually, we don't need to. There's already a solid state in it. Okay, so to change this, you just undo the two screws and then pull it back, change it, put it back in again, and that's it. That's it done. So we'll put it back together now. There's no need to do any more. Okay, to put the keyboard back in, what you want to do is put the bevel down first. As you can see, then the keyboard sits inside, and I think it'll all screw in from a couple of screws underneath. So just push it all back in again. That's it. And then we'll flip it over. Okay. Samsung, no, no. Go with ID, which is covered in warehouse themselves. Yeah, just make sure you've got your keyboard pushed down properly. Well, that way, otherwise, you won't get the screws in the other side. Pop all the screws back in. Pop the battery back in. And then we'll fire it up. Okay, all working a treat. <laughs> 